Yeah. You know, Monday, breakfast television, Tuesday, the lecture in Markham, and Wednesday, the interview with you. And of course, we went for lunch with uh, the doc afterwards, yeah. and we had a chance to meet him up front and personal and had a good chat with him. And we haven't, we haven't changed since then. We uh, accepted his message and the research that he's done. Mm -hmm. Just amazing research. And it mainly, the changing point for him was with animals and, um, and humans autopsies on animals and humans, finding out why they died. And when you're on that, uh, that table, that autopsy table, nothing escapes. They find out exactly why you passed away. So he did this for, I think the study was 12 years. Wow. And he did thousands, thousands of autopsies on animals and thousands on humans. And the correlation between animals and humans dying of um, natural causes is a nutritional deficiency disease. Amazing. And that's what we're dying from today. We're dying from nutritional deficiencies wow. because our food doesn't sustain us and people are confused about what to take as far as um, supplements are mm -hmm. concerned. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Doc, um, oh. Doc came to the rescue. Right? Uh, came to the rescue. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. He yeah. rode in on his big white horse and, <laughs> and of course uh, he told us. He said, this is how it is. This is what I've learned. Yeah. And this is why people are dying prematurely yeah. And it's sad. It's yeah, it's sad. Uh, sad. It, is. it yeah. really, really is. And what a committed man! Because not only is he um, a, a doctor, he's a veterinarian first and foremost. He was a veterinarian, Correct, yeah. and then a primary care physician, and then a naturopath. And he is truly dedicated. I mean, to do that many autopsies with animals and people, and to accumulate that research and write the numerous books he has and the scientific papers. This is a person who um, wants the truth mm -hmm. and wants to share it. See, and uh, the problem with the truth, Jill. The truth can be adjusted, mm. and that's the, that's the sad part. Doc brings to the table the truth, and because it's, um, mm. it's kind of old news, bought forward, mm -hmm. and it's the truth, mm -hmm. why we're dying, what we need, mm -hmm. here's what to take, um, and the reasons, and the autopsies, and the research, it, um, people, people sometimes find it hard to accept. Wait, it's too simple? Um, well, too simple, but different different from what they had already mm -hmm. uh, been taught been and that was grained in their, in their mind and in their mm -hmm. psyche. And in, mm -hmm. it just, so it, there's a, there is a bit of a transition mm -hmm. that people have to go through because they've learned so much in their own mind mm -hmm. prior to Doc's information. It's become a habit, really, isn't right, it? A habit. And, and, habitual, yes. and it's sometimes harder to break habits the longer we've been living them and uh, mm -hmm. accustomed. And also knowing the option. And I think you said people are tired of filling up their cupboards <clears> with <throat> lotions and potions and not using them. They expire, throwing them out. It's like money down the drain. And now we're talking about a program that is simple to do, that is easy, that works, and that um, this doctor has done all the research to prove that it works. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, what's going to exciting in the second half of the show, you're going to talk to us about this program. Perfect. It's called the, I believe it's called the 90 Essentials. 90 Essential Nutrients. Okay, right. we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about what people can do, viewers at home today, over the holidays and into the new year, what you can do to get started right now in your own kitchen. Because there's some things that people could avoid that would make a big difference. Perfect. That's right. Perfect. And perhaps I'll take these antlers off because I actually forgot I was wearing them. They were so comfortable. Yeah, they look great though. <laughs> but I uh, hope you're enjoying your preparations for the holiday season and stay tuned because we'll be back for the second half of the show in just a minute. Happy holidays once again. You're watching the Body, Mind, Spirit, Emotion. I'm your host, Jill Hewlett, and with me in studio is nutritional consultant, Coach Hewlett. Thanks again for being here, Dad. Thank you. Thank you for thank our you viewers who, who don't know. You are my father. Oh, hey, and I'm very proud of it. it. <laughs> thank you. And I'm very fortunate to have you as my father. Um, thank you. You're making a difference in our life, lives as a family, and um, in the community around, sharing the message of health. And like it says on your hat, if you want to show the viewers, uh -huh. yeah. life. life. Life gets better, <laughs> right? And that, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good um, phrase, really, because when you take the right nutrition, and you avoid the bad things, eating the bad things, uh, your life does get better. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you can, you can function. You know? That's so well said. And we say life gets better, and health is our currency. It means many things. We're help happier. Correct. We have yeah. more energy. Uh -huh. We're not spending our time dealing with aches and pains, but we're going out and being productive, doing the things that are meaningful to us. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. No, our body does let us know ahead of time. It's not like we have immediate, you know, health failure. 
there are signs that come along, mm -hmm. these warning signs. Mm -hmm. Could you share with our viewers what these warning signs are? Sure, Jill. Yeah. Well, luckily, luckily we have a mirror in our house, and there, there's, lucky we have vanity here. <laughs> and and we, every time we look in the mirror, we can see things like uh, gray hair, we can see things like age spots, uh, and then aside from the mirror, we have this, um, these creaky joints, or uh, we have cravings for certain things, uh, very high cravings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And um, there's things like that that are symptoms that we really need to pay attention to. And if we don't, uh, they develop into um, more sinister problems, mm -hmm. and they develop actually into diseases. So if we pay attention to what we see in the mirror and how our body feels and react to it, mm -hmm. we'll be far better off. Yeah. It's about paying attention. And people in today's life tend to be going really fast, that they don't necessarily take that time to be good observers <clears throat> and notice their own body. <clears throat> and so let's reiterate for our viewers, things like gray hair, age spots, creaky joints, aches and pains, cravings, craving things like caffeine and sugar, these are all warning signs that there's a nutritional deficiency going on in your body. And the great thing is, is if you're aware of this, you can, you can do something about it. Oh, for sure. Right? For sure, yes. Um, like, for example, uh, gray hair, that's a deficiency of copper. And people can't, uh, people find it hard to believe that one mineral lacking in our body would contribute to that. Well, it's the color pigments of the hair mm -hmm. are dependent on copper. So if we don't have copper, enough copper in our body, in our system, supporting the pigment of the hair, it turns gray. Well, you've just taken the mystery out here because it's not some yeah. random um, time when someone all of a sudden starts to turn gray. Some people turn gray in their 20s, some people not to their 50s uh -huh. or even 60s. And it's not just because, oh, that's just the timing. It's that something's going on in the body. So you're saying less copper on set of gray hair. Correct. And there's a complete correlation. So there's a science behind this. Mm -hmm. and, and by mm -hmm. taking more copper, the proper kind of copper, every day, and knowing what to take, you can um, slow down the, uh, the graying of the hair, and also you can reverse uh, Yeah, reverse it um, uh, to a certain point. Well, that's happening with mom, actually. She's starting to, her hair yeah. is going back. As a matter of fact, yeah. And, and just to know that the nutrition goes where it's needed. So if someone wants to change their hair, maybe the copper's being used somewhere else because say in your condition where you had dealt with surgery, major heart surgery, mm -hmm. the copper that you're taking or other nutrition, nutri it's gonna go to where it's needed first and foremost. Correct. It may, yeah. turning hair back may not be the first priority yeah. when there's other things going on, but the body's so wise that way. Oh yeah, the brain tells the body. Mm -hmm. People like to say, listen to your body. Well, you should, but ultimately the brain tells the body what it needs, and this is where cravings come in. Mm -hmm. uh, we may crave certain minerals, but the body, the brain doesn't tell the body it's this mineral or that mineral or this other mineral. It just, it indicates it as a symptom. Right. So we crave, we start to eat things that we shouldn't. Right, to uh, fill that void. Exactly, and we, we don't, we'll eat anything. So right. consequently, you end up eating the wrong things. Right, we're, oh, you said, you, there's a saying that you like to say, we, we're overfed. Uh, we're overfed and undernourished. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Overfed so, and undernourished. So we were telling the viewers that we were going to share with them the 90 essential nutrients, how to get started um, immediately in a, on a program that does get absorbed in the body and creates health. What are these 90 essentials? Well, there's, um, there are 90, but what I'd like to do, I'd like to, I'd like to just... Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, sure. a, there's an old philosopher sure. called... Um, his name is um, Socrates. And he, he's, uh, he bought up a lot of philosophical sayings. And what I, one I really like and adhere to, and I'd like to let people know that uh, please don't be angry with me if I tell you the truth. Wow. So the truth, again, can be altered, mm -hmm. but ultimately the truth is the truth. Mm -hmm. So the 90 That's essential true. nutrients are made up of four components. They're made up of minerals. They're made up of vitamins, amino acids, and essential fatty acids. Oh, okay. Now those four components, uh, the amounts of each are 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and three essential fatty acids. Wow. And the simplicity of it all is that Doc has put it into three containers. Right here, one, two, and three. Right, the, the, free, the, three, the three at the, at front. the front. The three at the front. <laughs> the three at the front. <laughs> so these three here cover the 90 essential nutrients to get those minerals, vitamins, amino acids, and EFAs. Correct, yeah. Cool. Yeah, the nice. minerals are the most important. The minerals are actually the currency of life. Mm. Without minerals, nothing works. Not one function happens in our body without minerals. So when we're deficient in minerals, 
certain functions don't take place. It could be in our, um, certainly in our uh, defense system, mm -hmm. and therefore we don't defend against certain diseases. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important that we get the 60 essential minerals. And essential simply means that our body doesn't manufacture them. Mm -hmm. They must come from one of two ways. They must come from our diet, or they must come from supplementation. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that our diet isn't that good isn't, today. Can our be food major, is not yeah. that good today. So knowing that, we must supplement. So the minerals are in one bottle, mm -hmm. and they're liquid, mm -hmm. 60 of them. The 16 vitamins and the 12 amino acids with a base of the minerals, because vitamins do not work without minerals. Wow. So Doc puts a base of the minerals in with these two other components. Maybe that's why the word min.